hello hello you guys it's lauren welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time i want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this candle review if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome on back so you guys it's better late than never i am finally getting around to doing reviews on my bath and body works candle day 2019 candles um I actually, it, it took a little while to get them. Um, I've had them for about three days or so. Let's see, I got them on Friday night. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I've had them for about three days, three days. So I kind of got the opportunity to try them all out. And the first one of the bunch that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is none other than Unicorn Sprinkles. I don't know if this was online exclusive or in store as I did order mine um, online this year. So I don't know if this was exclusive to online only. Um, let's dive into the review. I'm going to read you guys the notes and then I'm going to tell you what I think about unicorn sprinkles. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the review. I'm going to read off the notes of unicorn sprinkles from Bath and Body Works website slash what's labeled on the bottom of the candle. Um, when I ordered these, I went off of, of course, the scent notes because I did order online, as I said. And this fragrance, so unicorn sprinkles does have sugared lemon in the notes, and I am a big lemon fan. So I thought this was one that I might be able to use in like the summer when I'm doing kind of like my lemony, zesty, citrusy scents. Um, but let me tell you what I think about it in a minute. Let's go ahead and read the notes. So the notes for unicorn sprinkles include fluffy cotton candy, that sounds delicious, rainbow candy drops, I'm not quite sure what that is, and sugared lemon. So it's essentially fluffy cotton candy and lemon. They're saying sugar candy drops, so just sugared candy. So it's supposed to be very sweetsy, sugary, um, almost like maybe a lemon cotton candy type fragrance. When I opened up my Candle Day package and smelled all of my candles, I immediately knew that Unicorn Sprinkles was my least favorite. I'm not knocking anybody that likes the scent. I think in my opinion, on cold and while burning, that sugared lemon zest could almost be amped up a notch. You know, there was a candle from Bath & Body Works that was called sugared lemon zest. I would have liked to have seen, and I really enjoyed that one, I would have liked to have seen the sugary lemon note cranked up a notch in this candle. Um, there's something that's just a little off-putting and a little artificial um, on this candle to me. <clears throat> I find a lot of times with Bath & Body Works candles, um, some of the scents, whereas say with a Yankee candle, they tend to be more authentic. Some of the Bath & Body Works fragrances can err on the side of overly artificial. And there are some scents like Winter Candy Apple that's just completely fakey, fruity, candied smelling that can be pulled off. Whereas in my opinion with this one, that fakey, sugary lemon, it's really not even, it, you can tell there's lemon in it, but it's not prominent. It's just like a fakey, sugary fragrance. And to me, it smells a little cheap. It smells like a candle you may buy at the dollar store. Um, nothing groundbreaking about this. I was had a lot of high hopes for it because again, I'm a lemon fan. But just to me, the scent itself is not that appealing. Am I going to take it back and exchange it? Possibly. This is one I might wind up exchanging. Um, I would love to actually have another lavender marshmallow in my collection. Um, who knows? Who knows? But, you know, I'm excited to see what they have coming in the spring. So I may wind up swapping this one out. It's just not my cup of tea. Again, not knocking anybody that enjoys this one and likes this one. Um, it's not a bad scent. It's not like off-putting, like disgusting. Oh, I don't ever want to burn that. It's it's pleasant. It's it's okay. The throw is decent. One to ten. Ten, of course, being super strong. I would say I have it in an open room right now. I'd say in an open room, it's like maybe a five and a half, six. It's not super strong. Um, decent enough to where you're catching these citrus wafts, I guess, sugared candy citrus wafts. It performed much better in a smaller room. My first burn of it, it filled up the small room. 
Um, although it was filling it up with a scent that I didn't care for too much. So if you're a lemon fan and you come across this candle, I don't know if it's still available online or if they're going to put it in stores, but if you're a lemon fan and you're looking for like that lemon cello or that sugared lemon zest or like a lemon drop or even like Sicilian lemon from Yankee, this is not it. I feel like there's so many other candles out there, so many other good scents that are available. I would say skip this one. Now, before I sign off, I do want to say A plus on the packaging. I mean, this is so cute. I wish they would have done, I feel like they could have done a lot with this collection and had like a whole mystical type theme going. They could have done a whole bunch of different scents. I think it's darling packaging. Um, and that's why I hate to return it. But I do think at some point in time when they drop their spring fragrances, this one may be going back. So you guys, that's it for me today on this review. If you have burned unicorn sprinkles, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this candle. Before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of my upcoming videos, purchases, things like that. You guys, that's it for me today. As always, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, an awesome holiday season, by the way. We're like a week away from Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I hope you're getting some downtime, some time to relax. It can be such a hectic time of year. I hope you guys all have time to enjoy and relax and have some downtime with all of your beautiful candles and beautiful burns. That's it for me today. We will see you again soon. Bye, guys.